Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when you are unable to install this update that is KB5066791 on your Windows 10 computer. Now, the first step is to pause and restart the update. So you can go to Windows update and scroll down. Here you can see pause option. You can hit pause. Now, once paused, now you can click on resume updates and then you can check still not working the next step is to start these services now for this type in services in windows search box and then click on services over here find app readiness make a double click on app readiness set this to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted click on ok make a right click on app readiness click on restart now find background intelligent transfer service make a double click again set this to automatic Click on apply, click on start if highlighted, then click on OK, then make a right click and then click on restart. Now find Windows update, scroll down. Here you can see Windows update, make a double click. Again set this to automatic. Click on apply, click on start if highlighted and then click on OK. Make a right click on Windows update and then click on restart. Now you can update. Still not working, the next step is to run update troubleshooter. So go to Windows Update and over here you can see Troubleshoot option, click on Troubleshoot. Click on Additional Troubleshooters. Here you can see uh, Windows Update, Make a, click on it and then click on Run the Troubleshooter. And once the troubleshoot is complete, now you can try to update your Windows 10. Still not working, run these two commands. Type in CMD in Windows search box, make a right click on Command Prompt app. Make sure that you open Command Prompt as an administrator. Click on Yes to allow. Now copy the first command, both the commands are provided in the video description, paste it over here, hit the enter key. Now this process will take some time. Once the scan is 100% complete, copy the second command and then paste it on the same window, hit the enter key and let the scan complete. Once this scan is 100% complete, then restart your computer and after the system restart, you can check. Still not working. The next step is to use Microsoft Update Catalog. for. So for this, you can open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. On this website, you can write down the name of the update. That is KB5066791 over here. And then click on search over here. Now type in WINVER in Windows search box. And then click on WINVER run command over here. And check the version. In my case, this version 2.2 H2. Now check the system types. For this, you open Windows settings, go to home, and so go to system over here, and then scroll down, go to about option, and check the system type. In my case, the system type here you can see 64-bit operating system. So for me, it's Windows 11. Uh, sorry, Windows 10. Windows 10 version 2.2 H2 x64 based system. This is the right one for me. So click on download as per your system and then click on this link over here and then let the download complete. Once the download is complete, you can run this file, click on it and then you can install this update manually. Still not working, use media creation tool. Now for this, you can open this link in the browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. Scroll down here, you can see uh, media creation tool. So you have to download this media creation tool, click on download, and then you can run this exe file, uh, run this exe file. When you run this exe file, uh, you will see uh, accept option. So click on accept over here, and then by default upgrade this PC now will be selected. So make sure this is checked, and then click on next, and let the download complete. This process will take some time. Once done, now click on accept over here, and here you can see ready to install. By default, the option to keep personal files and app will be checked. When this is checked, you will not lose any data on the computer. So make sure this is checked and then hit install. After the installation, log into the computer and then try to update your Windows 10. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to update your Windows 11 uh, successfully with this update. So that will be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.